Hey everybody, it's been a while since I have made a video like this, so this is going to be part one of my DDR cab restoration project. The first thing I'm going to be wanting to work on are the pads, as they are the most complicated thing to work with and they take most of the beating. So let's get to work on that, but first, I'm going to need to clean all this off. So I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, looking much cleaner now. So the first thing we're gonna do uh, tomorrow, because it's getting late right now, is um, we're going to strip this entire thing down clean. So we're gonna remove all the panels, bars, remove everything inside of there, the sensors, wiring harness, everything. Like this thing has to be completely stripped down, um, nothing left here. Um, it's going to be really messy. All right, and we're back. We got the tools ready, got the newspaper laid out for all the dirt and uh, having some place to put all the screws and the metal plates. Um, all right, so here we go. First thing we're going to do is remove all the plates. And unscrew everything. Check out how dirty that is. Really rusty. A lot of dirt in the channels, in between the cracks there. It's a mess. <laughs> and this is where the I.O. board is. Each pad has one. This, uh, the Player 2 pad, will have one on the top left here, as you can see. And the player one uh, IO board is going to be in here. I remember uh, not being able to open that one because the screws were stripped, so uh, we're going to try that again. boys up. Oh, it's stuck. Yeah. If you haven't seen the inside of a dance pad before, this is what it looks like. You got your L brackets here, your sensors. Stepping on this is what activates the sensors. You got your uh, lights here. I put in some custom LEDs. Um, this whole board here comes off. Um, I think this entire frame comes off. So we're gonna try to undo that whole thing if possible. <laughs> help me uh, get these strip screws out.
Cool. And we got it. Wrench, just kind of snap it off. since I've kind of hit a roadblock for now until I get a, a Dremel to get those strip screws out I'm gonna have to stop here and it's getting late so I'll call it a night so the, this will continue in the next video so see y'all next time